All right, here's my honest review on the Taurus G2C 9mm. And just to let people know, it is unloaded. And always make sure you unload your gun, separate your magazine and your ammunition. Do not store them in the same room. Always make sure your gun is pointed in a safe direction. Do not point your gun anywhere at anything unless you're willing to destroy it. Like I said, always make sure your gun is clear. And always physically check with your finger and by side. Don't do one or the other, do both. So, my thoughts on this gun. Accurate enough if you're good with it. Easy to take down, easy to clean. Uh, good, it's good for concealed carry. Um, my only complaints on it are is those sights. They're garbage. But they'll work, but they're garbage. G2C. Taurus G2C. Not chambered 9mm. And this is how you take it down. You pull back on your slide. Releases. It's very glockish. Wanting to run away now. That's a very, very easy to clean. You can see the rifling in it. Heavy slide, but you know, what gun is not going to have a heavy slide? Polymer bottom. That's how you take it apart. It goes back together like that. You know, drop your barrel in. Back. There, like that. Run it back up. It's hard to do on camera. Again, always check and make sure your firearm is empty, which is a pain visually and physically. And function check. That's it. Super simple to take down, super simple to maintenance. Um, the stippling on the side is very good, very grippy. You know, it's just not going to slide out of your hand. Um, if you're looking for a gun that's light, this wouldn't be the one for you. But it's not pretty, it's not ugly. But as long as you clean it, prevent rust from forming, it'll do what you need it to do. Unless the sights aren't what you call great. But they're working a pinch. Might repaint them with some green. High bids green. You can see it better than the white. This, yeah. Um, compared to my hand, which hands aren't really a good comparison. Ergonomics are okay. I wish it was a little bit longer. Because, see, you know, it, it for me, it's uncomfortable out there with my hand. But good, good gun. Take care of it in the last. Do I trust my life to it? Yeah. Every time I pull the trigger, it's go bang. It's went bang. So I do need to clean this up real good, but liable pistol. Just keep uh, keep some oil on it. Keep oil in it. Except it's very glockish. Like I said, be careful where you point, and always make sure it's unloaded. But um, that's my review on the Taurus. Can't really say much about it, but it works and it's accurate. It'll do with the job, and. Uh, uh, it's the model PT-111 G2A. So, of the G2s, this is the first, uh, G it says G2? Yeah, G2A. It says G2A, but on the slide it says G, you yeah, know, G2C. G2C, G2A. So it's the first, iter it's the first version of the G2. Now they've went on to the G3, and I believe the Gen, uh, Gen 4. 
and the C it stands for compact 9mm. Conceals fairly well. I mean, it's a good little gun. Manufactured in Brazil. For Taurus out of Bainridge, Georgia. I think it was, when I bought it, it was 280. That's not bad for a for a decent little 9mm. At least I feel like it's not. And a little bit where you can tell the the, the PT-111s, you know, they're the grip style is a little different, but as design wise, they haven't really changed much. They don't have the, uh, the lock there. Um, easy gun to maintain and clean. Uh, good for a concealed carry. Uh, you get 12 plus one with the double stack, so that's 13. Good gun there. Can't really complain. That's about all I got today. Is uh, the Taurus uh, G2C. Which uh, I believe it's a subcompact or it's a compact model. It's got your, well, you know, I'm going to blabble a little bit more. It's got your safety there. It's got your trigger safety. If you try to, got your trigger safety. Uh, that's it. You know, it's got two safeties built into it. It's got your, your slide lock and your trigger lock. Your two safeties you got in it. I see it won't, it won't do nothing until that button's depressed. So two safety features, and it's also got your um, your loaded barrel indicator there. And it's sort of see if I can show you how that. Oh no, I can't do it. But it'll come up, and you'll see red, and you can also feel that with your finger on top, and know hey, it's loaded, which is pretty neat. Nice. Pretty neat, but. It's nice, but don't always go by that loaded barrel indicator. Always, always, always check your guns with sight and by feel with your finger to make sure that barrel's clear. Always. Like I said, keep it pointed in a safe direction. And I am not liable for any damages or bodily harm or anything like that that comes out of you properly mishandling the firearm so be safe and be smart again point your gun in a safe direction don't point at anything you're not willing to destroy always make sure your gun is clear again just, just don't point at nothing you don't want to destroy be smart and use a little common sense. That's all I ask. That's it. That's all I got. Just don't be stupid. And I'm not liable for any damages or bodily harm that comes out of this. That's just my review and that's me talking about this pistol. But yeah, other than that, good little piece. And uh, that's my little review on it. Again, I'm not held liable for anything that you may do, anything, any property damage or bodily physical harm. So, uh, that's my little review on it. That's all I got.